Hi Taurus, this is Kelly from Mumpai Tarot. This is going to be a three month spread for Taurus Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus for love, starting with the first week, I'm sorry, <laughs> the first month of June, then July, and then August. So I've already shuffled and placed your cards, and if I need to make any clarifications, I will. And I'm just going to pull um, a card from the Romance Angels Oracle deck to see what your advice is for love. Okay, so it says, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So that card basically, it's pretty simple. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's basically whatever it is that you are dealing with or have been dealing with in love, there's something about there are people who are around you who are supporting you. Um, and it's saying that you need to be more willing to ask for guidance from others, especially for your love life. So it's important for you to discuss your feelings, hopes, and dreams and allow other people to help you. It's really, you know, I, I, I feel there are people who are supportive of you, who are giving you advice. Um, there may even be a potential partner if you're single that you could meet amongst your friends. But it's also that you will benefit from spending time with these people, friends, family. Um, and especially if you're single, this will get you out of the house and bring in fresh energy. Okay, and I, I do feel like some of you may meet someone new, whatever your situation may be, um, with this card. And also, I feel in June, so there could be someone from your past who could be trying to return to you. Um, this person, you have had a very strong tie to, a very strong bond with this person. Could be a Capricorn for some, could be another Taurus. Um, but I feel like there's going to be some type of a reconciliation or a reunion with this person. And for some of you, this person could be in some type of an institution. Um, they could be part of um, like a church or a community type of an organization like that. They could be uh, any kind of an institution where there are rules, where there are lots of people. You could reunite with someone from your work uh, if you're in like a corporate type or a hospital, uh, anything like that, I'm sensing in June some type of a reunion. But I have to say that be careful of this person um, because there's something about the energy that plays out between the two of you where it's almost as if neither one of you can let each other go. Um, there's an addictive quality to this relationship. There could be a sexual quality to this relationship, um, a lot of temptation. Some of you may not want to reunite with this person, but I feel like this person, whoever they are, could be coming back to tell you that either they want a commitment or they want something traditional or something uh, more solid with you. It's, it's, it's a moral thing as well. It could be, um, this person could be of a different religion or a different ethnicity from you, um, but they want to meld, n come together with you to make it work. I'm also seeing in August here, I'm sorry, July, uh, the Four of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer or Pisces. But the Four of Wands here ties in 
to me for me with the Hierophant. This is about marriage community again. This could be someone that you work with or you know from from your past making a return to your life. And so these energies are going to play out a bit in June and July for you um, with the chariot as well. This is direct energy. I almost feel like this other person, they know exactly what they want now. I don't know if you were waiting to hear something or reunite with someone, but I feel like this person is charging in your direction from your past, coming back towards you. It's the cherry cards about action and change. This person absolutely knows what they want now. And for some of you, hooray. And for others, it's <laughs> you might be feeling like, well, it's too late. I mean, it's really up to you what you, you know, how you want to handle this situation. So this person could be at a distance from you as well. I'm sensing that there could be perhaps in July um, maybe this maybe they've left their left a marriage or left a partnership and they're coming in your direction. So there's some type of um, travel with this with this particular person. And the Ace of Wands is here as well. So this is really just saying, you know, that there's this is like a new romance, a new beginning. This person wants to create. And this, this could be why you have this card here, because you really need your friends for this situation. I feel like for a lot of you, you you're not really sure what to do. You won't be sure how to take this. You know, that... As I was saying, this this there could be addictions that f flow around with this person. So for those of you who are trying to not be with with a particular person, and you haven't spoken to them for a while, I do feel like there's going to be contact that will be made. More so, it's it's not even so much that there will be like text messages or calls. I feel like this person is just going to show up, show up at your door, or sh or you know wherever you are you're going to like physically see them and then the conversation begins that they you know they they re they want something new there's the ace of wands it's a phallic symbol so for those of you who are ladies you know this person really could just be trying to connect with you intimately as well I don't necessarily, I mean, it really just depends on how you feel, but I am picking up there is a return from the past. So going into August, there's partnership here and an offer of love, a proposal, or marriage with the Knight of Cups here. This energy, you know, this is kind of like a Prince Charming type of energy. So try not to be too blinded because you have the moon here and try to be try to have all your senses about you with this person the institution this person could be in jail <laughs> for some of you so uh, or this could be um, someone in a religious setting that reveals to you that maybe they want to leave their um, you know, or it's a pastor, or if they're part of a church where I think the Catholic Church is the only one that has that no marriage. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not fully schooled on all of the religions out there in the world, but this could be someone who expresses to you their desire to have something with you. Now, so again, as I was saying, you know, with the Two of Wands here, this is definitely about a, a passionate partnership. And it's also about, you know, ma having to make a choice because I feel like an offer or a proposal of some sort is going to come in for you. And you're not really going to know what to do. I feel like you're, you're going to be trusting your instincts, trusting your gut, following your emotions. 
not really making a head decision, but more of a heart decision. But there, there, I, I feel like with the moon, you know, the moon's about voluntary changes. So this decision will have to absolutely come from you. Someone I do sense is coming back from your past. You're going to need support from friends to, and family to figure out what you want to do with this situation. Because, you know, if this person is a cancer, they're, they're directly driving in your, like, they're just going to show up and just start, you know, proposing or, you know, um, trying to get you back to or trying to be in a relationship with you I don't really feel the need to clarify anything here just because I feel like this is pretty clear cut um, with the two of wands here the two of wands is also like I feel like this person is going to be waiting for an answer from you in August when they make this offer. They're going to put it out, but you're not going to, I don't see you really making a decision in the next three months about this. I see you acknowledging that they're coming forth and wanting to be with you. But for some reason, I want to clarify this moon card. I, I I, didn't feel the need to, but now now I feel the need to. With this devil card, I feel like because there's some type of uh, maybe addiction or, um, you know, the devil card sometimes is similar to the lover's card. The lover's card is more like two people who make a decision to be together. The devil card is where it's like, no decision gets made. You're just stuck with each other. <laughs> that you're like chained to each other. It's it's almost like you you have always felt compelled to this person, and they have felt compelled to you. Okay, so the the problem with the moon card and the decision is that. You may feel like with this person, there is too many challenges or obstacles to this relationship or to this connection, which could have something to do with that devil card. Or there's family interference or other people interfering in this relationship that makes it very difficult to be together. There could be rivalry. Um, there could be... I don't, you know, the uh, the five of, the five of wands is not a serious card, but I feel like for you it's serious <laughs> because this whatever this I feel like you um, are sensitive to the issues with this person because of past things that have happened, and so what could be taken as competitive play or sarcasm or things like that to you it's deeper. To you, it, to you, it affects you more deeply with, with this particular person, not necessarily with other people in your life. So it's really important for you during this, this next three months to really rely on friends, support groups, um, other people who can help you, family, whomever it is, uh, to help you figure out what it is that you need to do because I feel like you might be a bit torn. I do feel that you have love for this person and you do care very much for them and you do love um, the good things, the good times. Even And I feel like this person has is, is trying to straighten their lives out, but you're not ready to make a decision yet. You have a lot of thinking you need to do. And I feel like this person will keep waiting. They'll wait. You know, whenever they decide to make this move. It could happen really any time within this three-month period. But I feel like they will wait for you. And uh, so you really need to take all your time, take all the time that you need. I feel like this is a huge, a big decision for you to move forward. And I feel like you're going to need to really think about this. But to absolutely trust your intuition, trust your gut, whatever it's telling you to do, trust that. Don't doubt yourself. 
Okay, so Taurus, that's your reading for the next three months. If you would like to get a personal reading, all the links and information is in the box below. And I will speak to you soon. All right, take care. Bye.